come in. Come in. Have a seat. How are you? I don't care. Okay. For my last interview of the day, and I have to say, I haven't been very impressed with what I've been seeing. It seems like everyone from the Fire Nation is becoming weak. Not you, right? Good. That's what I like to hear. Now, what makes you think that you can impress me? Okay. Pack out your tongue. That's okay. I like a guard who knows when to speak and when to listen. Spoiler alert, it's never and always. Well, let's start the interview. What do you say? Great. All right, let's get down to business. What's your name? Is that... Fire Nation? I've never heard that name before in my life. Hmm. Okay. Your parents must be creatives. Which precinct do you live in? And your occupation before this? Penguin sledding. Interesting. Are you a bender or more of a swordsman? Or both? Okay. How much do you hate and despise the traitor and weakling? Ex-princess, excuse me, Prince Zuko. Glad to hear it. How far will you go to defend your honor? That's pretty far. What about my honor? It's quite a massive thing to defend, as you can imagine. <laughs> and all you have to do is look at me. Okay, um, final question. Would you ever betray me in some weird season three plot twist ending? No. Perfect. You know, Ty Lee and May should have taken a note from you. Okay. Well, you've passed the preliminary tests, whatever that means. Now, I'm going to brief you in some information. What's your name again? No, oh, wait. Don't tell me. I'll just forget again. So, as you know, Sozin's Comet is nearly upon us. And you know what that means. Total world domin- I mean, a peaceful assumption of the world's power by me, who will be the Fire Lord. Now, there are some idiots who have been trying to get in the way. I can't imagine why they're freaking out over nothing. But I want you to be aware of the situation and know what you're up against. It's just a bunch of children, so I wouldn't be too worried. First up, we have some random ex-princess from the Earth Kingdom. Now this little girl is blind, but I think that she sees with her feet? I'm not really sure, to be honest. She's a freak, I know that. She's also wanted and known for illegal underground earthbending tournaments. My sources tell me she's been going by the name Lord of the Melons, or something like that. I don't know what that's about. Hmm. 
if you see her, she's the short one. Mm -hmm. Big hair, white eyes. You should be fine. The next person I want you to be on the lookout for. You'll know her by the whiny tone that she always puts on over everything. She's constantly squawking about, I don't know, her mother or something. I mean, personally, my own mother thought that I was a monster. She was right, of course, but it still hurt. Now this water tribe girl thinks that she's fancy because she can heal people with her water bending. All you have to do is go after the pouch that she often keeps near her hip. Without that, she's practically nothing. Yeah, she's a loudmouth. You'll be fine. She's very attached to the avatar. So if you see her, you'll often see him. That's how we found him so many times. And then, speaking of the water tribe girl, we have her brother. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. In a different universe, I might think he's kind of cute. But alas, he's not, so here we are. He's not even a bender. He's very much more of a bark more than a bite, if that makes sense. He uses his boomerang and sometimes very poorly a sword. He's a loud one too. Mm -hmm. He has terrible taste in women. I think he's cheating on the moon right now with one of the Kiyoshi warriors. <laughs> He likes to pretend that he's powerful, but he's not. Next we have the avatar himself. Now don't let his looks fool you. He's actually 112 years old. He's not much of a fighter, really. He's more of a runner. Constantly saying things like, let's talk it out, and I don't want to hurt the people that I love, and garbage like that. Now I know you might not have a lot of experience fighting against airbenders. We thought that we wiped them out years ago, but one survived. He's a fast one, so keep your eye on him. Don't worry too much about fighting. My father should take care of it. He often comes along with a giant flying bison and a tiny rat flying thing. Don't worry about either of them. And finally, we have my wonderful uncle and brother. Uncle Iroh will probably offer you tea if he sees you. And Zuzu here is not much of a not much of a strength boy. I am much stronger than him. In fact, we are long overdue for an acne kai. But he's full of that teenage angst. It really keeps him going. He's been banished time and time again, but he just keeps coming back for more. Fine, I'll give him more. I've decided to join the rebel side. So they are no longer welcome in the Fire Nation. I don't think Zuko could stand that his little sister is so much stronger and prettier and smarter than him. Oh well. Too bad, Suzu. 
All right. What do you think? Can you take that pack of children on? I think so, too. Let's get you fitted with some Fire Nation garb and see how it looks. Okay. I'll have you wear this. your weapon. He's being so loud outside. Oh, my, my what? Hmm. Well, there you go. Well, you look quite dapper. <laughs> In fact, it's a sharp outfit. Careful. You could puncture an Empire class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea. Because that's how sharp it is. My comedy is one of the many perks that you'll get by standing by my side for 24 hours a day. Oh, standing. Yes. The throne is for me. And you're expected to do my hair. Polish the crown, you know, normal stuff. So what do you think? We'd be happy to have you. I have to say, I'm impressed. You've barely said a word. I like that. Welcome to the good guy's side. 